Hello again, YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, we're on the lake again today. Thank the Lord. I thought I was going to die there for a little bit. I've been sick. As you guys knew, my last video, I, I wasn't feeling real well, and it just lingered. Um, I'm finally over it, uh, or on the downside of it, I should say. Um, still got some congestion, a little bit of cough, but other than that, I'm, I'm alive. So, thankfully, I'm thankful for that. But... Um, it has rained a ton in East Tennessee the last two weeks. Last two weeks, I mean, I think we've got like seven to nine inches of rain or something like that. It's just incredible how much rain we've got. So, water's muddy. We're going to come out here today. We're on Teleco Lake, and we're going to see if we can't catch some fish. So, come on along with us, and we'll be right back with you. Welcome back. So we found the first dock, or we've come to the first dock that we're going to fish. It's got some fish on it. We're going to see if we can't catch a few. Uh, like I said, water is stained. Muddy, actually. It's not stained. It's muddy. Um, so we're going to start with the uh, black and chartreuse stump bug. And we're going to do, we're going to shoot that on a six foot Ozark Pro Series rod. Got a Fluger try-on reel. Um, this is my first experience shooting docks with the, uh, the Ozark rods, so I'm excited about it. Um, don't forget, on your bonehead jigs, use the discount code CROPPY19 right here in the corner. CROPPY19 will get you 15% off on your bonehead tackle. Uh, also, on your Ozark rods right here in the corner, use the discount code WIRED on uh, your Ozark rods. You can get 10% off at Ozark rods. We appreciate them for that so let's see if we can't pick a few fish off this dock we're gonna have to fish it slow because it's muddy um, keep the bait in front of the fish as long as we can but um, you know that's one thing I can't stress enough when it's muddy is slow down slow your presentation down give fish time to see that bait and uh, let's see what I think about these rods I'm looking forward to it I really like them so I'm hoping I hoping I like shooting with them too If that's, what is that? I don't think that's a crappie. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh guys. Ah! <laughs> I didn't think that was a crappie. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I seen that fish sitting down there on the bottom as on that black and chartreuse stump bug. My gosh, you talk about getting excited. Man, that's the way to come back after being sick right there. My goodness. Look at the size of that fish. That is a toad. Man alive. That's a pretty fish how white that fish is that fish doesn't have any any lines anything that's a white crappie that's a white crappie he just doesn't have any markings on him that dirty water boy he's pretty that is a pretty pretty fish right there golly i didn't think that was a crappie i set the hook on him <laughs> he was laying on the bottom and i seen him on the live scope and i brought it and i bounced it a couple times he hit it i set the hook man i didn't even i didn't even think that was a fish or a crappie. Golly, it's a pretty fish. We're going to let that one go. We're not going to keep any fish today. We'll let him go. Oh, 
that one. It's a decent fish too. No. Nice fish. So we've moved. We're on a brush pile now. There's several fish down there, but they're just cantankers. Nice fish. Nice white crappie. Bye, buddy. Thank you. Another nice fish. Another nice white crappie. Hope that sun's not too bad in y'all's eyes. If it is, I apologize. Nice fish. You can catch them in muddy water, guys. Just gotta slow down. And slow that bait down, get it in front of those fish. Pretty fish. <laughs> All right, made a little move. <clears throat> See if we can't catch a few off this little marina. Sun's starting to go down. It's getting to be... Let's see what time it is. Yeah, I don't have my... It's about 20 after 5. Getting chilly. I caught a chill, so I put my hoodie on. Got him. Got him. Oh. Got him. <laughs> yeah, boy. On that black and chartreuse stump bug. Muddy water. My favorite muddy water bait. Nice white crappie. Off a pole. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. Let him go. So all I'm doing right here, I'm see that fish on that pole. And I'm just working that jig right in front of his face. There he is. Not as big as the last one, but he'll do. Bad little fish. Bye, buddy. All right, so we found another pole in the corner right here. We're going to ease up to it. There's a couple fish on it. We're going to vertical jig it, see if we can't catch these fish off his pole. There he is. Finally. Hey, hey on there. Oh, it's a good one, too. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. Mm, 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 mm. Stunt bug, stunt bug. I think I'm going to start fishing in dirty water. Man. 
for Teleco Lake, those are some pretty fish, man. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, go on back. Another nice fish. Another nice one. Good night. Come on. Right in the top of the mouth, right where you want to get them. Nice crappie. Nice fish. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end it on that one. I think it's uh, it's about six o'clock now. <clears throat> I've had a good day on the water. <coughs> Makes me feel a lot better to get out here and catch some more fish. I appreciate everything you guys have done for the channel. Don't forget, uh, crappie 19 bonehead tackle. You can get all your tackle right here, 15% off, and and your Ozark rods. Let me talk to you guys about these Ozark rods for a second. Um, like I said earlier, this was the uh, this was the first day I got to use my six foot dock shooter. We're gonna let this fish go, but um, this is the first day I got to use my six foot dock shooter, and I really like this this rod, guys. It's got great backbone, it shoots a jig great. Um, it's got a it's got a large eye on the end of it, which I think helps with uh, with the line coming off the rod. Um, you really shoot it a long way with this rod. I, they have a seven foot or two. I'm looking forward to using it, but I like the short handle. I just like the rod all the way around. It's a good rod, it's solid. Uh, feel real well with it. I uh, feel every bite or I have today. Um, it's cold. The water temps are uh, still 52 degrees. It's muddy. I feel like we had a good day. We caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot of nice fish, quality fish, which is which is great to see on Teleco. So, uh, one thing I did want to mention, um, I talked to a gentleman yesterday who called and he said, Matt, he said, there's been so much rain, it's so muddy, where do I go? He said, I'm fishing up in the river and it's just so muddy. Uh, just a quick little tip for you guys, when, you, when these rain events happen like this, especially in East Tennessee, and TVA opens the dams and starts sluicing to move water, your lower creeks closer to the dam are gonna clean up first, okay? So uh, start there, start start low down around the dam and uh, try to find the cleanest water and, and work your way up. You can catch fish in muddy water. We just proved that today. So uh, thanks for watching, God bless. We'll see you guys next week.